Hi, and thanks for choosing Pebblehost. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you the AJ Parkour plugin. AJ Parkour randomly generates a parkour course in your server. It will be different every time you do it, and it's definitely a cool addition. You can put these in many places, such as server lobbies, and also just around your worlds, for a little parkour challenge. Anyway, let's get right into it. So first of all, go to the link in the description. This will then take you to the AJ Parkour Spigot page. AJ Parkour supports 1.7.10 all the way up to the newest version of 1.19. So simply just click download now. So I'm just going to save it and then we can go to our server. Before we do anything else, we need to make sure that our version does support plugins. So if we come down to the jar and pre-install menu, you can select from quite a few things. Quite a few of these have plugin support. Paper, Spigot, and Craft Bucket will all definitely support this plugin. If you're playing on a vanilla server, it will not. Once you've selected your version, restart your server, and then once it's off the backup, we can go to the File Manager. We'll then go into the Plugins folder, and then click Upload, File, and then we're going to find the AJ Parkour file we downloaded earlier. Once that's uploaded, we'll simply restart our server. Once the server's back up, we can then go ahead and join our server. So now we join the game, we're going to do slash PL. And this will show the plugins we have installed. And as you can see, AJ Parkour has been successfully installed. So now I'm going to take you through how to use the plugin. So first of all, we're going to need to create an area. So first, we're going to do slash AJ Parkour. If you want it to be shorter, you can also just do slash AJP instead for all of these commands. So do slash AJP, set up, and then create, and then make a name for your area. So as this parkour is going to be in my kingdom area, we're just going to call this one kingdom. Okay, so once we've created our area, we need to set our positions. And this will basically just choose the area that the parkour can spawn within. So let's say I wanted it to only go down as much as this block and only as far as this. We could do slash AJP set up and then pause one, short for position one. Once we've done that, it will say first position set. And then we're basically going to fly to where you want the second corner to be. So I recommend doing this high up and on the opposite corner as well. So let's just make the maximum on this cloud right here. And once again, we're going to do the same command, but we're going to instead use a two. And now our second position has been set. If you do have world edit installed in your world, if you select an area with world edit, you can then do slash AJP set up and then WE for world edit. And it will select the area that you have selected with your world edit tools. Next, we're going to select our difficulty. So if we do slash AJP, set up, and then difficulty, you can then choose from balanced, easy, expert, hard, or medium. So from experience, easy is actually stupidly easy and pretty much consists of one block jumps the entire way through. So obviously, choose these as you will. However, balanced is a bit different. Balanced means that the jumps get harder as you go higher and higher up the parkour. So at the start of it, it will probably be one block jumps, and then by the end, it will be a lot harder parkour. So we're actually going to choose balanced. The next command is optional, but I do suggest doing it. So this command is so that when someone falls, they'll get teleported to a certain place. So let's say I wanted them to start back here whenever they fell. If you don't set this, then basically they'll just fall off the parkour and they won't get teleported anywhere. However, the plugin does prevent them from taking full damage. So if we want them to teleport back here when they fall, we can do slash AJP set up and then full pause or full position so now i've done that the full position has been set and now just to check we have done everything correctly we're gonna do slash ajp set up and then info so if position one position two and difficulty are all green that means you have done it successfully we also have another optional thing here called max and this command if we do slash ajp set up and then max if we were to then do, let's say, 15, it means that only 15 players can be doing the parkour at the same time. And now if we again do slash AJP setup info, you can see they're all green. So now our parkour is complete. So now we're going to do slash AJP setup and then save. So our arena called Kingdom has been saved and loaded. Now you may notice there's no parkour, but that's because we have to initiate it with a command. If we do slash AJP start and then the name of our area, which was kingdom, as you can see, I've been put on a random block in the area that I selected. And as you can see, initially extremely easy with just one block jumps. And now we're moving on to two block jumps. So you can see that balance does work. So while you're doing the parkour, you'll get a few things. 
So when you rank your first jump, it will say congrats, you made a jump. And then if you beat the high score, which obviously there was no high score before me, so I reached the server high score as soon as I would jump on one block. I then got a diamond for reaching 10 jumps, a diamond for reaching 20, and then when I fell at 20, I was given one emerald and two diamonds. But this is definitely just a fun addition you can add to your server. Now the rewards you get from doing the parkour can be fully configured as well. So if we go to the plugins folder here, we could then find our AJ Parkour folder. And in here, we have a few files. Now, if we go down to rewards.yml, we have the intervals here. And this is for 10. So this means that every 10 blocks, it will run a certain command. So as you can see, give, player, and then diamond, one. So if we change this to diamond 40, it means that once you've done 10 successful jumps, you'll get 40 diamonds. And this will stack. So if you do 20, you'll get another 40. 30, you'll get another 40 and so on. You could also change the message for the first time you made a jump. You can also change it so that when someone beats the server high score, they also get given something as well. We can also go into config.yml and there's quite a few things you can change here. So by default, when you make a jump, it will play the sound of a chicken egg. And of course, you can change this to whatever you want as well. Also, when running the AJ Parkour top command, which will show the leaderboard, you can also change this to show 10 or more or less. If the parkour is throwing you off because it's not generating fast enough, then what you can instead do is change the jumps ahead from 1 to let's just say 3. If we have to start the parkour again, as you can see, way more blocks are generated in front of us. And as you can see, I finally fell, and all those configs that I changed earlier, such as giving 40 diamonds every 10 jumps, as you can see, I got to 30, I was given 40 diamonds, 40 diamonds again, and 40 diamonds again. So you can see that those changes have been made. There's a lot more stuff in config, so I do definitely recommend taking a look around in that as well. Anyway, hopefully this video has been helpful. If it has, definitely leave a like and subscribe, and hopefully, I'll see you next time.